<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you can see my next guest on his own Comedy Central show, Insomniac, each Sunday night at midnight. Please welcome the very funny Dave Attell. <laughs> How's it going? All right. Well, uh, I had quite a night last night, and uh, I learned something, so I'll tell you people. Never get drunk when you're wearing a hooded sweatshirt. Because you will eventually think there's someone right behind you. <laughs> I'm kind of a, a drinker, you know, and uh, uh, all my favorite writers were drunks. You know, Hemingway, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, uh, Judy Bloom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where are the great pothead writers? There aren't any, because no one wants to read a book by a pothead. No one wants to hear about the most delicious Twinkie ever made, or <laughs> if you can put a hat and glasses on a dog, he probably could drive a car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the problem with drinking is it really puts the weight on you. You know, I'm getting real fat. I got that double chin, you know? And it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and now it's starting to do things on its own, you know? Like, you ever talking on the phone, and then that other chin starts dialing again? Has it ever happened to you? <laughs> uh-huh, yeah. Now, the joke's over. I'm just taking a little break. Mm. <laughs> Women like a big man because you can cuddle with them, am I right? I mean, you like to cuddle with a big man, and I like to cuddle, too. But there's such a fine line between cuddling and holding someone down so they can't get away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I call it the Kansas City flip-flap. Now, that one's for me, and the band, I guess. <laughs> now, <clears throat> women get very emotional, right? And everything affects a woman, you know, like kittens, or the moon, or a balloon ride. What really affects a man? Whiskey and pepper spray. That's about it. <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is premature ejaculation is a problem, all right? Now, there's a lot of young dudes out there. If that ever happens, you have to say something, all right? This is what you do. Look in her eyes and go, to be continued, all right? <laughs> Just trying to help. What? Talk more about the penis? Okay, let's go. <clears throat> now, uh, ladies, is it really the size of a man's penis that matters? Okay. Well, the whores have spoken. But, uh oh, no, I'm sorry. Don't make me write a letter. Don't make me write a letter. Some, some girls say, yeah, I like a big one. Other girls are like, it doesn't matter. It's how he uses it. What if a guy has no penis, but three testicles and one of them lights up? Does he ever get action? Every man wonders about the size, right? Laying in bed alone at night or in a hammock with a monkey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you start thinking, do I have a small penis or just gigantic legs? I don't know. <laughs> well, luckily, there's a test. The first time you show it to your girlfriend or fiance or press it up against a bus window or something, <laughs> When someone looks at it for the first time, you want a reaction, right? You want some excitement. You want another language, if possible, like, Santa Maria, I poppy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's really good. But if someone looks at it and the first thing out of their mouth is, oh, that's not good. Time to buy a Corvette. You know what I'm saying? Thanks a lot. You guys have been great. That was amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh, Dave. Oh. oh, man. Oh. Oh, what you, you say, Conan? You brought up a lot of painful things for me. That was... <laughs> just trying to get the message out. <laughs> that was very, very funny. How, now, how have you been? I mean, this is... You're doing this show now on Comedy Central, mm -hmm. and you travel constantly. You're always on the road for right. this show. Yeah, we went to cities around the country being a comic. Uh, you know, do a lot of... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, Daryl and I have a lot of uh, 
history. Yeah. All right, so uh, <laughs> we'll bring you along, kid. Keep that thing in your pants and we'll have a good time. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, you know how it is on the road, different cities. So with this show, Insomniac, we go around from uh, cities like Miami, New Orleans, uh, Mexico even. And, right. you know, I do my act and then we kind of explore the town. It's uh, basically we're up till uh, the sun comes up. So. Right, right. And so where'd you go in, like, Mexico? Where'd you... Well, the thing about Mexico, which is really interesting and different from the United States, is, like, in the U.S., you go to a doctor. In Mexico, you are a doctor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Well, you can get anything you need down there. You know, drugs, any kind of medical thing. Do you think these are real? Well, they're not. Mexico. That's where I got them. <laughs> uh, they're they beautiful, yeah. Thank you. Well, they have treatments down there that you wouldn't believe. Like, they even have voodoo medicine, mm -hmm. which is pretty wild. And, you know, voodoo is a type of medicine. Few people know it. And... Let's say, God forbid, you come down with a disease that only voodoo would cure, you know? Like, I don't know, you get drunk, you kick a leprechaun, the next day you wake up, you have a tail, you know? <laughs> voodoo. Voodoo's always the answer, huh? Correct. Very nice. <laughs> I was worried about that. Insomniac with David Tell is on Sunday nights at midnight on Comedy Central. Uh, very funny stuff. Thank you very much. Thank for you. Being there. Dave Attell, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Oh my guest, Dave Attell, thank you very much thank for you. being here. For bringing the truth to us. Our thanks to Allison Hannigan. She's an American Pie too. Our uh, thanks to Daryl Hammond for being here and for being so funny. Look at that. And of course, he loves his porno. Max Weinberg and the Max Weinbergs have a good night, everybody.